All right, today we are going to cover search intent filters for Google Looker Studio, uh, specifically how to create drop down filters uh, in multiple different ways. To start this off, uh, you know, you can connect your Google Search Console and just be pulling that from the native connector, or you can dig into the BigQuery bulk data export because as I have mentioned in past videos, we get this accelerator for it. So it makes things a lot faster, highly recommend it, and you also get a lot more keywords. So to start this off, um, you know, you can make a copy of my report here that I'll link uh, in the description below and also in the article. Um, but you really want to decide what kind of filters you want to have. So right now for the low hanging fruit, the past video that I made, it's literally just for um, the URL. But when we drop down here, we can do by question or not, we can do by search intent. So commercial, informational, navigational, um, and then also brand versus non-brand, also very helpful ones. So I'll link all the regex in the description below, but the way we will create these is going into resource, manage ed added data sources, and then find the data source you want to use. So this is my big query one. That's the bulk export. And you can see, I created a couple custom dimensions in here to do that. You do add a field and then you can create a new calculated field. But since I already have this made, we'll dive into first, let's do the brand one. So you just click on the formula right there and you can see a simple case when else, whatever. But this is simply just match the certain query and whether or not it contains a variation of your brand. So. I just did M-I-K, so anything that's going to be Mike, I possibly should throw Gimli in there too. But now anytime I want to filter out the branded keywords to see what is coming in non-branded, it's very, very easy just to do this quick selection. And then you can see everything that is non-branded related to your website. Very, very handy. Then question, which we've been having some really good discussions on the best way to do this on Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, that I also linked to my article. This one's very, very helpful. Again, just a case when, else not. Uh, regex contains match the query to these various questions and how they start. Again, super, super handy. Just copy and paste this, create this custom field. Then we'll drop down, save it all. When we view, let's reset the data. So right now we see various keywords, not questions, but let's just do questions. Again, accelerated big query very fast. How do you find? How do you find? Where to find? All these things. And granted, I don't have a lot. Of, it's only 105 keywords. I should be better at SEO. But you can see all these different questions that you can easily just start searching for. And as I've mentioned in the low hanging fruit, I don't get a lot of clicks for my articles just because I'm lazy and don't optimize my website properly. But now you can go in and refresh all these articles based on these questions. People are asking, you're showing for, but not getting the click. So answer these questions and watch the clicks start to roll in. Then dive back into the data sources. You'll really want to kind of fine tune this over time based on the things you're seeing. Um, so if we're starting to see certain questions uh, that aren't coming in, toss them in, or if you're uh, bringing in maybe some different brand related keywords or service related keywords, we might need to get a little bit more specific um, with these questions in the regex, but take your time, experiment. Uh, if you run into any issues, please reach out to me on any of my social media or my website, but Hopefully this is a very easy process for you guys to add into your templates and reporting, make a copy of mine, play around with it. Let me know if there's any way to improve it. Um, but as always, any issues, let me know and hope this helps guys. Have a good one.